for Anton Ono, the qualifiers from heat two. So to heat number three. And here we've got Marc Gagnon from Canada, who dominated short track in the 1990s. Christian Zabo from Hungary, the champion, Takatumi Nishitani, who won this event in Nagano. And uh, Volodymyr Hirohir of the Ukraine on the full start. Mark Gagnon there, bronze medalist in the 1500. Wonderful for him to finally get an individual medal. He was a gold medalist in the relay back in 98 and uh, won bronze in the thousand back in Lillehammer now the full start and see how desperately keen they are to get a good position at the first bend yes it's crucial to uh, to get your position sorted out going into this first corner and they're all looking for the B of the B of the bank well pretty difficult to see out of that it was exactly who was called for the full start very tense Oh. from the Ukraine and that's Gagnon so uh, definitely a full start for him Skater position number three. well it's tense you have one false start. I think it's the Ukrainian isn't it that had the uh, previous full start yep here we go then and it's the Ukrainian in the lead from Nishitani in second place, Gagnon third, and Christian Zabo for Hungary in fourth. And here comes Nishitani making his move. So it's the reigning champion who leads at the moment, but the Ukraine having none of it just can't get past him though. Gagnon making his move now up on the inside. Well, that was very smooth indeed. The Ukrainian goes down, but uh, I don't think there was any contact between him and Gagnon. Now, these two can uh, just comfortably cruise home now. Gagnon looks behind and knows he's done enough, and I think maybe having a word with Nishitani. Nishitani and Gagnon, the qualifiers from heat number three, they go through to the quarterfinals, and really they couldn't have had it any easier. No, it was a bit dicey at the beginning. I thought Gagnon had got himself uh, into a bit of a, a nasty situation, boxed in there in that third spot. But uh, when the door was left slightly ajar, he uses all of his experience. He's so powerful. And look at this. This was the move. Nips up inside. No problem at all. And uh, there he goes, just losing his footing. You get some quite deep ruts on the corner. And uh, on that right foot, he just looked as though he caught the front of the skate, lost his footing, and crash into the boards. Holds his head. They get a lot of whiplash when they hit the boards. You see the thickness of the padding there. These it's guys a, really are motoring. It's a sickening thud. And even though they had uh, seemingly an age to prepare for it,